Other Tongue is a national competition which allows young people to express themselves through creative writing and write a piece of work in their mother tongue or in their other tongue that means something to them. And Mother Tongue, Other Tongue is a fantastic example of how we are reaching out to the diverse multicultural communities uh, in, in Manchester and actually nationally as well. This year we are delighted that our guest of honour is Malala. Uh, mother tongue is, is so important. Uh, I grew up speaking Pashto, that was my mother tongue, and that's the language you speak at home, that's the language you speak at school with your friends. You joke in this language, you gossip in this language, so it becomes part of you, it becomes part of your identity, and it also connects to the culture in which you are brought up. I would like to congratulate everyone who participated in this uh, initiative, who brought poetry in their, uh, uh, in, their own, uh, in their mother tongue and also other languages that they are learning. So well done to all of you and also uh, well done to all those who are getting positions today and, uh, and are getting prizes for their achievements in this. The project actually chimes with what Malala stands for in terms of raising the profile for education. When the extremists came to our region in Swat Valley and they banned girls' education, it was the point that I realised that education was something more than just reading and writing. It was about empowerment for women. And the extremists knew the Taliban, they knew that when girls go to school, they get empowered. They learn about themselves, they learn about the power of education, they become independent, they can stand on their own two feet, which is something that they could not accept. They wanted women to stay in their houses. Uh, and I realized that education was crucial for me to be myself, to, uh, to be a woman, uh, and, uh, and, and to be independent. So that's how I decided that I'll continue my education, but also to speak out uh, for all girls who are deprived of this basic human right. The more you learn, it makes your mind broader and uh, allows you to think broader as well, allows you to think big. And initially my mind was just limited to one region, which was Swat Valley where I grew up. And I used to think that the world ends at those mountains and there's nothing else that exists outside those mountains. Uh, but as time went by and I kept on learning and I was studying and I was getting my education and then coming to the UK and then traveling around the world speaking out for girls' education, going from countries like Kenya to Nigeria to Mexico and seeing these different cultures and meeting di people from different parts of the world. It allowed me to know that the world is not, not that small. It, the world extends beyond those mountains and there, there are people from all across the world. We have so many similarities, so many things that we can share with each other, that we can celebrate. So I would encourage you all to do the same. I think the best thing about this competition is just the fact that we all come together as a community and even though we're competing against each other, it's like we're making new friends. Our poem was a, was a nonsense poem, which was about um, about rhyming and Coca-Cola and um, and drinks. I was quite surprised about the theme that they've chosen and the fact that they were able to express themselves, express their feelings in a foreign language was very pleasantly surprising. In Urdu there's a lot of poems like about friendship and like uh, about kindness that you can share. Desearía que este momento nunca terminara, como he encontrado el que fue un regalo del cielo. Britain is very unique in the fact that we are so multicultural and we're so accepting of each other. But I think one of the reasons is, is because we do have days like this where we celebrate it. Uh, I was really happy to see that Britain is a multicultural country. It appreciates and values other cultures and uh, seeing that they encourage students to learn other languages such as French and Spanish. And uh, it, was, it was great to see that. But I also uh, was really proud of um, uh, the fact that I could also speak other languages, including Pashto and Urdu, uh, which I learned in Pakistan. So it reminded me that it was something important and I was proud of myself in that. Uh, but also uh, was, was really happy to see that students are encouraged to learn other languages. 
So the, the writing that they're writing about, the, the creative writing that they're writing about is often linked to current affairs, what, what they're seeing in the media. Um, so it really is a, a great way of expression and if they go away with that confidence, I think that's great. Thank you.